Ryland T's going to be outbound. Martin North is going to be turning. The research ship Ryland T leaves the industrial port of Fushan, not far from Grand Isle. It will retrace the route that ships have followed for centuries as they come and go from New Orleans. So that other wreck we want to go to is right around. Researchers from Texas A&M are trying to uncover tales of tragedy, of ships that never returned, wooden sailing ships that sank to depths that can only be reached with today's specialized equipment. It's an amazingly complex operation. Systems are checked on the ROV, a remotely operated vehicle that can penetrate the gulf three quarters of a mile below its surface. The ROV's mechanical hands substitute for a human. The first target is a shipwreck called Mica, named after the deep sea oil field where it's located 50 miles southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi. The 70 foot long wreck was discovered two years ago by Exxon Mobil. A pipeline was mistakenly dropped on top of the 200 year old wreck. To put a name on these shipwrecks, marine archaeologists become detectives. They look for clues among the artifacts and sometimes do years of research to piece together a ship story. So far, every attempt to try to identify this more than half destroyed sailing vessel has met with failure. Researchers are starting to call it the ghost ship. First the ship sank, and then it was hit with a pipeline, which is why we know about it, the pipeline was put over it. And then we lost an ROV on it, and then we broke the hydraulic manipulator on the submarine we were using. And then the next boat that tried to go out, there was another mission between this and the first one that didn't happen because they almost sank their boat trying to get to the site. Researchers and a crew from Deep Marine Technology of Houston are hoping to avoid any more glitches. The two most important areas to look for artifacts are back here in the bow, in the stern. We've got a collection of things in here that may be ceramics, which are going to help us know what the ship dates, where it dates to precisely. Sonar confirms the wreck is below, and the ROV begins a 30-minute descent to the Gulf floor, a depth of 2,600 feet, a half mile, where the mystery ship has been shrouded in darkness for two centuries. There's your pipe right there. The pipeline provides a runway for the ROV, allowing Mark Steiger to guide the unmanned craft to the wreckage. Steiger coaxes the slightest movements out of his remote control. He pays close attention to shadows, trying to put some scale and depth to the flat image he sees on TV from a half mile below. It's a piece of uh, wood from the wreck. But see how it's jammed up? See how it's speared into the bottom like that? That's, that's real weird. When you're going to grab an object with a manipulator, um, a lot of times you'll find yourself falling about six or eight inches short of it, and you think you're right on top of it. Nails. Let's see the thing sticking out. Yep. It's a piece of the hull right there. The robot will try to snag artifacts from the wreckage. The first target is a piece of the copper sheathing on the hull, which could contain a maker's mark and help identify the vessel. Right. No. Uh, that's all right. Why don't I just hang on? Yeah, to just hang on to it for now until we better. find something better. But the electronics begin to malfunction. Monitors flicker. The guidance system is lost. The ROV is retrieved and brings with it only a single piece of copper. You can see there's the nail holes that would hold it to the side of the ship, and it's got a nice green patina on it. It could be part of a small Navy schooner, but more likely a commercial sailing ship. Man's best technology is challenged again by the harsh environment of the sea. When you think in the 1969, we put people on the moon, and we have difficulty today with the latest technology available going half a mile deep in the ocean to recover a piece of ceramic. And we get around the stern. Let's have a good look at the stern before we do anything else. Once again, this stubborn wreck clings to its sunken secrets. Its name and its story remain a mystery. Dave McNamara, Eyewitness News, Night Watch.